Sarita Devani Joshi, the zoology expert with extra marks. I have been mentoring students for NEET since past seven years, and I believe in teaching you all about the practical aspects of medical field via my own experiences, making your application part as well as question attempting practice part better. Are you people worried about your preparation and concerned about the scores and selections? Well, you must be. And in order to minimize all the stress, I have brought this video for you, my dear students, to let you know that Extra Marks is bringing the India's biggest scholarship exam, EYSE 2020. That is the Extra Marks Young Scholars exam for the classes 8th to 12th. All those who have been leaving dreams for becoming doctors, IITNs, all are looking for best quality teaching experience can appear for this exam and can win up to 100% scholarship this exam is completely online so let me explain you people about the marking scheme for 12th medical aspirants 25 questions from physics 25 questions from chemistry 50 questions from biology and 20 questions from mental ability so total questions 120 and the duration will be of will be of three hours okay then if i talk about the 12th engineering aspirants so there you are going to have 20 questions each from physics chemistry and mathematics and 15 questions from mental ability so total 75 questions will be there and the duration will be of three hours again and if i talk about the students from 8th standard to 11th standard so there we are going to have science 15 questions each from physics chemistry and biology then mathematics uh, 20 questions and then mental ability 10 questions so like that total becomes 75 questions but the duration for them will be of two hours we are conducting this exam to analyze your performance and boost your confidence and knowledge and for example, if anybody is in 8th standard, so you are going to get the question paper based on syllabus of class 7th and similar pattern can be followed for other classes as well. We are conducting this exam to avail you with good quality teaching. So if you crack it, you can grab it. Okay, and you can prepare for this exam by going through your previous class syllabus thoroughly. So today in this session, I will be giving you a complete outline about the exam pattern of NEET. NEET, National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. I hope you people know the full form. It is held by NTA, that is National Testing Agency. Now, it was used to be held by CBSE itself. So it provides you with courses, medical courses like MBBS, BDS, Ayurveda, at graduate and postgraduate levels provided by private and governmental colleges of the country. The exam duration is of 3 hours and they ask you a total of 180 questions, 45 from physics, 45 from chemistry and 90 from biology including zoology and botany. Each question carries 4 marks and negative marking is also there. So if you are attempting the question wrong, one mark will be deducted for every wrong answer. So, 180 minutes for 180 questions. Do we have to attempt all the questions? No, not at all. Not at all because those questions which are out of box or you haven't heard about them or don't have any idea about them, just leave them unattempted. Yes, you are hearing me right. Just leave them unattempted because this can cost you a good seat of a good medical college literally. And the question paper is asked in many languages like English, Urdu, Hindi, Bengali, Uriya, Assamese, Tamil, Telugu, etc. So we can talk about the preparation for NEET exam. So for every subject I will be telling you that you should go through NCRT thoroughly because you know most of the questions they appear from NCRT although not all questions but most of the questions even in physics also chemistry also and most importantly biology including zoology and botany approximately out of 90 questions 80 to 85 questions for sure 
appear from there but then you have to understand that apart from that you have to go through previous year questions as well okay so previous year questions they get repeated many times like in physics also if you see if you see in chemistry also the the kind of numerical is same the formation the pattern the framing of question is same but the data is changed and you know we can apply the same formula and take out the answer and in case of our subject that is biology that is zoology many times the same question gets repeated as it is or it gets repeated in the opposite form for example i can just take uh, take an examples to illustrate you to tell you like uh, once it was asked that the supportive skeletal structures found in external ears and in the nose strip are examples of are examples of and the answer to that question was cartilage so this question was framed from the topic animal tissues uh, that is structural organization in animals and you know what the same question uh, again appeared in the reversed form and they asked that the tissue which is found in external ears is also found in the supportive tissue found in external ears or pinna is also found in and now the answer to this question was nose of tip now you can see the same kind of question again appeared so this tells you this gives you an idea that how the question papers are created so this strategy you can follow you can go through previous year questions you can go through diagram based questions as well you know why because many times they will give you a diagram as it is and what they will do is they will remove the labelings they will remove the labelings and uh, other than labelings rather than labelings they will be writing a b c d and you know you have to find out you have to recognize what is that a what is that b what is c and d and accordingly whatever the correct option is the combination of the correct option you have to mark that answer okay so this way this way you can prepare for the exam by going through ncert thoroughly especially for biology just you should remember all the things and secondly by by uh, attempting by practicing previous year questions and diagram based questions in our subject as well okay but this time the exam is merged that means neat aims all are merged now so you can have although you are having uh, single answer correct questions single answer correct questions but then you can have them in the form of fill in the blanks in the form of simple uh, like always they appear to you simple type of questions then you can have them in the form of statement questions where they can give you statement and you have to identify like assertion and reason type questions if you people know so in assertion and reason type questions they used to come in our aims only but now you know they can give you statement and you have to find that that statement is correct or no and according to that you have to give the answer so those are assertion and reason type questions okay so they can be in any form but yes the answers you have to mark only one answer because the type of question is going to be single answer correct only okay got it according to my teaching experience of thousands of aspirants since many years the characteristics of top rank holders include solving initially biology approximately in 40 to 45 minutes then 50 minutes to 1 hour is given to chemistry and all rest of the time remaining time should be given for solving physics but now this exam eyse 2020 which we are going to conduct is not having any negative marking so you can attempt all questions okay all the medical and je aspirants can download jee and neat app and do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel we are having our best features and these best features include live sessions from various subject experts so me including my team i'm wishing you all the very best to you my students go well prepared do get selected thank you so much